Hello Forever World, we're back and we're really excited about 2022. We have so much to talk to you about and of course I have this fine looking man with me here today. So we're talking about sales and marketing today, you know that. And so it's going to be super motivated and exciting, right, Mr. I Aiden? I hope so, I hope so. All right, Aiden O'Hare with me today. And Aiden, did you get a chance to catch my New Year's message the other day? I did, and I thought, well, of course I'm going to say this, right? But I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I thought it hit the mark, and it, it gave us some specifics to follow. That's what I loved about it. I walked away from it, and I think you did a great job. And okay, the, you get a raise. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. And the way that you remembered all of that was incredible. Didn't he, I know that you agree that he did a good job. In fact, throw some comments down here. All Let's right. have a look. Move on. Now, <laughs> what was? What did I say? Here's the test. Um, you said hello to everybody. You said that they'd had a really good year. But I do remember, honestly, I do remember those five areas of focus that you've asked us as a company to focus on. Things that w he wants us to work on globally. And of course, Greg didn't just come up with those ideas himself. You know, he talked to a lot of people, made some observations, learned some things, brought them to what we call our executive management team, and he came up with that five list. And, and what are those five things? Okay, I've been, the test. I've been doing my homework. I've been doing my homework. The first thing that you mentioned is getting together. And how does that sort of, how do we as a sales and marketing team help with that? Well, the first thing is, that you remember when the pandemic first kicked off and you talked about how it seemed like the world has moved back to what forever has always been, an opportunity at the kitchen table, Absolutely. a chance for us to be face to face with people. And if we can't be face to face to people, like you said in your message, a screen will work. Yeah, and, I, and you've heard people getting frustrated with that, but I, and I understand that it's so good to be face to face in person, but when we can't, we've seen it work, right? Absolutely, I and mean, unbelievably, the, the results have been great. So we gotta get together, we gotta keep getting together, whether together or on screen, right? Right, right, activity. It's all about activity and pushing things forward. And also, we're, we're doing everything we can, and Nick, you've heard from, and he's doing a lot to bring us together via our great events. So that's the first thing from a sales and marketing point of view is continue, continue, continue. Uh, creating activity in your business, putting yourself in front of people, whether that's safely in person or whether that's via the screen. And we know the screen is frustrating, but please keep pushing, get on it. And as a company, like you asked us to, we're doubling down on our efforts. We're just building a new stadi uh, stadium, a new studio right here at the home office so we, we can put out great video content for you. We're, we're looking about how to make our content more effective, uh, a little bit shorter probably, um, and make sure that you have all the tools that you need to succeed. The second thing, communication. And I know there's an overlap, right? Of course, a lot of what we just talked about is communication. There is an overlap, but we're also working on ways that we can help you communicate more effectively with us as a company, with your downlines and with your cross lines, because we know it's vitally important that we share what we've learned and best practice. So there'll be a big drive on communication you talked about. What's the third thing? Well, the third thing is customer service. Yes. But I'm going to jump back from communication oh, one you're set. Killing me. FFP 360. Remember that is a vital tool for you to work in these two areas, yeah, communication no and customer service. Because yes. you'll know who to talk to and you know what to talk to them about. So if you don't have FFP 360, get a hold of it because you can look through that. I don't mind if you're a supervisor or if you're a triple diamond manager. There's enough information in there for you to raise the level on your customer service. Love it. Okay, customer service now. Custom what are we going to do? Well, one of the first things is we're going to, we as a company are going to audit our customer service globally. And how do we do that? We've invited our cust uh, country managers and uh, select distributors around the world to follow the whole pattern of becoming an FBO, ordering product, how you interact with the company, and telling us true feedback of how we can improve. One of the first things we learned, the opening hours of our uh, call centers weren't right. They didn't mi match your lives. We found out that some of them were closing at lunchtime when you were available. That's just one tiny thing that we're making an adjustment on right now. So the, a lot to do. And it's funny because really customer service is part of communication, right? Absolutely. So yeah. that's really important. And you can see we're already making inroads into that. So what's the fourth thing? The fourth one was recognition. Yes. And if there's anything that we know in forever, recognizing people is vitally important. And let's be honest, at the beginning of the pandemic, it took us a minute to get used to not being together recognized because we love being with you, shake your hands, hug you, a kiss on both cheeks or or, or three cheeks, is that a possibility? <laughs> One, two, three? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we, we know that we had to learn a few things and we did a great job 
um, are catching up, but now we're going to formalize some great ways that we recognize, recognize you from a remote um, if we need to, or also bring you together, like we said, safely. But not only that, but look at ways in which we can enhance the marketing plan to recognize your great efforts. Things like our amazing trip to Abu Dhabi, how that we've managed to navigate through COVID and you'll be able to travel the world. And you announced Bali. Woo! I was surprised that you announced that. Hey, exciting, huh? Yeah, I can't wait. That's incredible. But you know, to be recognized, you got to take action yeah, and you yeah. got to achieve, right? The, the different awards and trips that we have. And to do that, you got to get over the challenges yep. that are confronting all of us. So what's the fifth one? The fifth one is my favorite. The one you always talk about, fix it and move on. Yes, sir. Too often we get stuck in the little things, the little things that just uh, take the mojo, take the motivation out of what we do. So as a company, Greg has asked us to be looking at ways to fix it, whether it's a marketing plan, a marketing plan problem. Maybe it's a product not in the right place. Maybe it's a mistake that was made. Maybe it's an interaction that went wrong. Whatever it is, we're committed to be fixing it and moving on, and we ask you to do the same. Absolutely. Now, that, those are things that we're trying to work on as a company doesn't mean that the FBO stops working, right? Absolutely. They got to keep yeah, yeah. working too. So now we got to shift over and talk a little bit about as an FBO, what do I need to be focused on in 2022? I want to go to Bali. Uh -huh. I want to go on Cancun. EMR, Cancun. Yeah. I want to be at these places. What do I need to do to push my business forward in 2022? Well, like you always taught us, mate, and, and I know that you guys are going to be a little disappointed with hearing these same five things over and over and over again, but it's so important. There is no other way to be successful in the business. Use the product, share the product, sponsor people, four case credits every month, and go for every incentive. The list is that simple. We've seen it work everywhere across the globe, and I will continue to in 2022. But it is the simple things that get us to yeah. the end goal. That's what we got to be focused on. Thank you for all your efforts. Thanks to everyone, the country managers, the staff, everybody around the world that's helping you as an FBO become successful and forever. We know 2022 can be your best year ever in forever. Come on together. Let's do it.